Grindhouse Suit Double Feature, Cursed Misfits, Reanimated Corpses, and More Grotesque Pictures. Teacher Chordish. Revesh is on the loose and is looking for you, those teachers who laughed at abuse, so teachers beware from the killer with no stare who only wears a mask as he commits his acts of kill, 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 until, till, till, he gets revenge for those he loves. Party Night. It's a party night, party night, it's a bloody night, bloody night, with a killer on the loose seeking to get you, all you teenagers, all you rampagers, with party on the mind right after prom night. It's a party night, party night, and it's a bloody night, bloody night, dead body here, dead body there, one corpse over here, another over there, and it was gonna be a fun, a fun party night. It's a party night, party night, it's a bloody night, bloody night, Travis and Molly are gone, Olivia is too, Nelson goes too, ne Drew does too, final girl's next, but she wins and escapes. It's a party night, party night, it's a bloody night, bloody night, it's a party night, party night, it's a bloody night, bloody night, it's a party night, party night, it's a bloody night, bloody night, it's a party night, party night, it's a bloody night, bloody night. Texas Chainsaw 2022 Some people never learn to invade what's not theirs till they meet the masked man who's become well known and not for being nice because when you kill his own he'll take you for a ride with a chainsaw in hand and you face for a mask. Leather, 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 leather face. No matter how many times you kill him, he'll always come back, whether it's a sequel, a requel, or a remake, the legend's always back. And in each new take, he'll have a bigger chain saw to take away some peeps whose faces he deems good for his skin. I Spit on Your Grave 2010's Trilogy Rape, revenge, survival, and slasher, all horror plots that blend well in the 70s and 80s. Mix them up with torture porn, and what do you get, and what do you get? A trilogy of horror that's hard to see, even for horror fans who can stomach the OG. A spit on your G. 1, 2, and 3, a crazy wild ride where many people die, where audiences are left to ask to themselves, what did I just watch? Mix the OG with a little bit of Saw, and this is what you get. I spit on your grave and some hostel in the mix. Watch it all around and try not to get sick. Scream Park. Frightland, Scream Park, no matter the name, beware of the masks that hide in those amusement parks. 31. Psycho heads, twisted men, all want death, all for their Halloween fun and cheers, clowns with lust, a lust for blood. Little Teen Billy. He walks around with mask in face and knife in hand, little teen Billy killing peeps like lamb as sacrifice for his hand, a creature living in the walls of his land. The Nun There she goes, blind to all, with knives in hand, ready to praise her God in ways that no one would celebrate except for her, in her twisted ways, full of bloods, full of guts, in all forms, just as long she can feed the deity she kneels to. Chainsaw Bros. They go out mad, thirsting for blood, to bring home the Chainsaw Bros, dressed as clowns or with flesh from those they take as their slaves. Chainsaw Bros, Chainsaw Bros, out in the fields running wild, running free, hunting meat to feed their needs. Be it food, be it sex, they don't care as long as they feed. Chainsaw Bros, Chainsaw Bros, Chainsaw Bros, Chainsaw Bros. Clown Queens. See them play with their prey as they laugh, as they dance, all well dressed in their friends' flesh, mixed with clown faces, creating a reality that no one else should endure. Sex and Death Sex and Death embrace in the mind of a twisted couple who want nothing but pleasure. Sexocopia Sex, death, and violence meet bloody horror and electro punk in a world created by techno witches where flesh is the currency that will grant you survival and life's most intimate pleasures. Pearl Some would say Pearl is a tragedy but in the end all of her killings would never justify her. That sincere yet chilling smile would never be justified. NBK Whirlwinds of media, blood and death cover the streets as a couple of killers take over a nation full of fascination for their acts of love. A satanic recovery and the loose ventures of the three. Three from hell, full of health, bringing death, chaos, and destruction to all those and others too who try to take them to the depths of hell. 
Piano Fingers. As the piano plays, the girl becomes entranced and the house goes wild, bringing forth all sorts of horror that eventually consume her and she becomes one with the piano itself. Fat Bottom Ghouls. Fat Bottom Ghouls, Fat Bottom Ghouls, salen por la noche al boogie woogie down y el perreo intenso justo con demons que le siguen cada paso mental y físicamente para escapar problemas y encontrar problemas indeseados porque cuando menos se lo esperan, Fat Bottom Ghouls can end up in tombs. Tie Your Killer Down Whenever you see he who tried to hunt, rape, and kill you, what you need to do is tie your killer down, tie your killer down, tie your killer down, tie your killer down. A lesson learned from rape and revenge flicks. Gut it up. 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 The family of cannibalistic, necrophilic, egocentric, sadistic killers sing as they add more numbers to their ever-growing list of victims. Christine 666. She was a child who'd never known her demonoid skills till her age of 16 when suddenly something changed and the powers of the entity she'd thought of as evil rushed through her and brought Armageddon to a town with its fair amount of sinners. Her name's Christine 666. And now she rules a town once praised for its religious practices, which only served to hide the acts of a man fueled by ego and power. Right next door to hell. Many men live right next door to hell so they continue committing their senseless acts of violence because they got nothing else to live for except their impulses, their illnesses, which they've already deemed their masters and are willing to continue to feed so as to reach a middle ground where they can feel some form of normalcy in the real world before they've eventually captured or eventually die to spend the rest of their essence in the depths of hell. Spooks that kill. The vamps rise up, the wolves rise up, zombies rise up, the ghouls rise up. They've got the spooks that kill, they've got the spooks that kill, they've got the spooks that kill, they've got the spooks that kill. They walk across the night, making children cry, sharing many frights, screams across the sky. They've got the spooks that kills, they've got the spooks that kill, they've got the spooks that kill, they've got the spooks that kills. Spooky woogie fiends committing many sins, scaring away all of their prey. They've got the spooks that kill, they've got the spooks that kill, they've got the spooks that kill, they've got the spooks that kill. Running with the devil. Search them, find them, see them running with the devil every single night as they consume every drug known to man, selling their souls to the devil, screamed the preacher Ted Wayne Berkowitz as his followers cheered him on. Diaries of a Madman. Pages full of blood, semen, and indecipherable texts cover the diaries of a madman who keeps bones, flesh, and properties of his victims to justify their presence in his small apartment which smells of rotten flesh, scat, and other undesirables. Crunch As a young man tries to find his lost friends, an unexpected crunch becomes the last thing he hears before dropping to the ground and getting his skull crushed by a massive hammer multiple times before being added to an endless collection of flesh and bones. Evil Dies Tonight Evil Dies Tonight, they would all scream as they would chase innocents and leave evil to continue living among them. Companionship In his endless search for companionship, a man with no sense for compassion would kill dozens and try to reanimate them, bringing forth more pain to the victims and their loved ones. Aberkowitz's speech from 2009 and 2022. Those blue fiends flying across the skies are nothing but the work of the devil, and they want you and your children to join them in their pagan ways full of sex and sin, don't follow those blue tall demons, turn them off your screens, for if you let them connect with you in any way, your passage to heaven will be no more, said the preacher Ted Wayne Berkowitz back in 2009 and once more in 2022. El Chupacabras 
Every morning is a horror tale for farmers across the archipelago as their crops are ruined with the blood, guts, and gore of the goats and other animals they lose at the claws of a green-colored, sometimes gray-colored fiend they've deemed El Chupacabras. Hurricanes and earthquakes are something they can't control, but this demon is an entity they'll try to kill to have a chance at survival in this place they've called home for generations. So, they gather machetes and whatever else they can to protect their land from any ghoul que quiera quitarle sus habichuelas. You're my best fiend. After years getting away with it, after years being chased by the law, after finally being caught and surrounded, the two devilish teens would not hand themselves in, but rather take away each other's lives in a suicide pact full of multiple slashes and stabs. And so, as the two killers slowly bled to death, due to their own ego, they said to each other, You're my best fiend. Shock and Roll Years of rocking, years of rolling, years of shocking, years of gutting would slowly weigh down on the lives of four demonic extraterrestrial beings who fed themselves with nothing but blood, flesh, and souls. Now in their old age of 69 and after 666 kills to each of their names, they felt it proper to retire only to all die and do the same in another afterlife full of despair. <laughs> 